Okay, hey guys, welcome to my second spring forecast, and I'm going to do my last one at the end of February, because um, that's going to be closest to spring, obviously. Um, but you're going to notice with this forecast that almost everything's flipped around. That's just because the, um, the ENSO has changed, teleconnections are looking like they're going to change, everything's looking like it's going to change since last month, what the knowledge was from last month, so... Uh, just keep that in mind. I'm going to show you the, here is the Pluma model, uh, mid-January 2013, or 2014, sorry. Um, you can see where we're right now, we're actually closer to a La Nina, but we're in neutral, obviously, because if you're below the red line here, and I drew this, by the way, so if you did go and search up Pluma models, you're not going to see that. But if it's below the red line, that means we're in, we're in an, um, well, actually, we're right here. Apparently, no, no, we're right here. Okay, um, if you go below the red line, then you're in a La Nina, which would mean you're minus temperatures. If you're above the black line, that means you're in an El Nino, which means you're positive temperatures in the Enzo range. Um, for Mid-Atlantic, in the wintertime, best winters are either in neutral or slight El Nino, which would be from here to here, both to here. Anywhere in this range is a pretty good winter, anywhere in here. So if it goes anywhere in here, or anywhere in here, we could be looking at a more westerly winter, which would not favor snow in our area. So keep that in mind. Here's my temperature forecast for spring. We're going to see warm temperatures in the east and cold in the west. Also, we're going to have above average precipitation in this zone. Final, this is my overall forecast. We're going to have finally some range in this zone, so we're going to get, um, we're going to start seeing some more rain in this area. Also, we're going to see some drought relief in this area, which is really good news because they've been having a severe drought out there in um, California. Snow and cold, we're finally going to get start getting some of that snow out here uh, and get back to average. Colder than average in this zone. About average in this zone. This is the only zone that's actually average. Early start to severe weather season right here. Thinking we're going to see it early. I'm talking, by early I mean early April is probably when it will start late March even maybe. Um, and um, warmer with thunderstorms, some severe in the zone. Uh, we might see some severe weather. Warmer, but winter still continues, which means we might see a few snowstorms in the or early portions of spring here. Oh, hold up, let me put this back. I think that looks good enough. That'll work. Okay. Some severe weather in this zone just because of the instability. Warm in this zone. We're going to be seeing warm with average precipitation. Some severe weather in this zone. Early start to thunderstorm season. And if you don't live in this zone, you wouldn't know. But isolated thunderstorms just build just because of the instability in these zones. Um, so... That's probably what's going to end up happening. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been my spring forecast part two of three. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.